All right, I think it's time. Grab a snack and a, a, your favorite drink and go sit in your comfiest spot because we're about to go to class. So one of the conditions that I have with my eye, I have multiple, is called amblyopia. So let's go over that. What is lazy eye? Amblyopia is when vision in one or both eyes does not develop properly during childhood. It sometimes is called lazy eye. Amblyopia is a common problem in babies and young children. A child's vision develops in the first few years of life. It's important to diagnose and treat amblyopia as early as possible. Otherwise, a child with amblyopia will not develop normal healthy vision. Strabismus. Strabismus is when the eyes point in two different directions. One eye may be focused straight ahead while the other turns in, out, up, or down. To avoid seeing double, the child's brain may ignore the, the image from the eye that is not focused straight ahead. But this can keep that eye from developing properly. That's similar to what's been going on with me. See how this one turns in? I look out at this eye. This is my, this is my good eye. My good eye, even though it's nearsighted. Um, I have both nearsighted and farsighted in this eye and I'll explain that later. But this is my main eye. This one is I can see the shadow of the bridge of my nose but otherwise it's out to lunch. Refractive errors. Having a refractive error means being nearsighted, farsighted or having astigmatism, distorted or blurry vision. A child may have a refractive error that is worse in one eye. That eye can turn off like I was talking about before and vision will not develop properly. This can be difficult to tell since the child's vision seems fine when using both eyes. So like I was saying before, in my bad eye, I have near and far-sighted sight. It's on an X, so if I'm looking on angles like this, I will be near-sighted. If I look on angles like this, I'll be far-sighted. And then right in the middle is a giant blurry star, which is considered to be an astigmatism, which is growing, actually, that I've learned recently. What is ptosis? Ptosis is when the upper eyelid droops over the eye. The eyelid may droop just a little or so much that it covers the pupil, the black dot at the center of your eye that lights, lets light in. Ptosis can limit or even completely block normal vision. Children and adults can have ptosis. Fortunately, this condition can be treated to improve vision as well as appearance. Ptosis treatment for children. I'm just gonna skip down past the bullet points. In most cases, ophthalmologists recommend surgery to treat ptosis in children. That is what I have. I was born with no muscles in my right eyelid. So I did have to have three surgeries by the time that I was six in order to correct that as best as they could. I don't know if you can see, but there's a scar here from when a stitch broke open. And there's a scar here from pinning to muscles in my eyelid. Also, I can't close it all the way because they took too much off. I'm running out of time for this video, so just let me know if you want a part two. Yay, advocating.